In this video, I'll show you how to link your custom calculator results to the Add to Cart button in your Shopify store. So if you have a customizable product or custom pricing, this integration can help you optimize your order handling process. So allow your customers to add products to the cart with a custom price based on their personalized inputs. And how? In a few easy steps. Let's start by opening your Shopify account. Find your installed Calculator Builder app by Calconic and open your preferred calculator. So I have one right here and your goal is to assign the right calculator to the right product page. And from here on we will take it step by step. So first make sure your calculator is active, then open your calculator settings and then you have to enable Shopify checkout. Then we assign your result element to Shopify checkout price reference. So this will be your formula element reference number, which will output the final result or price. In my case, it's number four. And a quick note, for now my formula shows only zero because I assigned the calculator to take the product price from the product page. So they'll start counting when the page loads. Then the next step is to find the Shopify products icon here at the top and here you select the products where your integration should take effect. But don't forget to save and then go to your store to check how it looks. For this video, I created a test Shopify store. So here I find my catalog and product where the calculator should appear. So as you see now, my user can pick the sizing and his preferences for the custom poster and get a personalized product. So let's add it to cart and check if it syncs to the cart. Now we see that everything works well and the customer inputs, the assigned variant and the custom price. So what's left is to just check out. Now in case your calculator is of an informational type and does not need the checkout integration, the process becomes only slightly different. If you want to add your calculator to other pages apart from the product page, your goal is to embed the calculator code in the right place. So here I go back to my calculator editor, the same calculator. Uh, I'll take it out from the product page. Then I'll turn off the checkout settings and click embed. So here we look for the code. So we choose the embed type and click standard if you want your calculator to appear directly on your product page or click light box if you want to embed it as a pop-up. So then go to your product page, choose the product or other page where you want to add the calculator and click this icon to convert text into HTML code and paste the code snippet below. So know that your calculator position depends on the place where you paste the code. So if you want it to appear before or after your add to cart button, paste the code according to your element sequence in the code. And that's it. What's left is to design it well so it fits in with your web design. And a quick disclaimer, one product cannot use both embedding options at the same time. So note that and choose well. So the last option, if you want your calculator to appear on each of your product pages, the same calculator, you have to embed your calculator to the liquid file. Now I'll show you how to do that. Again, you just sign into your Shopify account. Then we go to online store from the Shopify menu. Then we click themes. Uh, then click the actions button to extend the drop down menu. Click edit code from the drop down menu and scroll down the list of liquid files until you find the product liquid and then click it. We recommend pasting your code snippet right after the checkout form, after the add to cart button. So usually this form ends with this end form tag. So I'll look for this tag and paste the code snippet somewhere below it. Look for the best fit place and then click save. Now the calculator will appear on all product pages in the same place. And keep in mind that calculator is created using the calculator builder app by Calconic won't be accessible on your calconic.com account and vice versa. And that's it. Now you know how to add your custom interactive calculator anywhere on your Shopify store. Thank you for watching.